Uh-oh, what's wrong now? Oh, nothing. We're doing a little upgrade here. This is also a how-to video for anybody who has a lawnmower that's got an old Tecumseh motor on it. Say it, it's gone bad for whatever reason. Of course, this one is still good. It still runs like it's brand new out of the box. Um, but for those of you who, you know, you have a lawnmower like this, it's got self-propelled, and maybe you have, like, uh, extra shit on here that came with it, and you really don't want to give it up. It's a good mower. You know, it's a good height. You know, this is a perfect height for me, any shorter, and I, I wouldn't be able to mow yards with it. Um, but these motors, motors here, it appears that they don't make them anymore, and they're a little bit harder to get because the, uh, the company doesn't make uh, gas engines anymore. So your alternative, about 130 bucks in parts, you can go to Harbor Freight and buy one of these 173cc overhead valve motors, which are, should be more efficient and uh well i don't know about the reliability we'll we'll find out in the coming months with this one but uh you know it's a 109 dollar motor actually it's 150 really but it was on sale at harbor freight but it's basically a honda motor it you know looks almost the same as that just you know the design slightly different so they can get away with making it so um this motor here has a 7 8 crankshaft this motor here has a one inch, so the size doesn't change when it comes out of the bearing. So this here is just an MTD replacement blade. It's a 21 inch. This is a 21 inch deck, so you'll need to get one of these. This is about 16 bucks at Ace Hardware, and you're looking at about eight bucks uh, for this little adapter here. This is a seven eighths. Comes with a bolt and your little thing there. It's a star adapter. That is a. Uh, what you'll need. Um, unfortunately, I will have to buy a, order a pulley. Um, I could not find one that was a 7 8 at Ace Hardware, so I'm gonna have to live without self propel for a little bit. It'll still kind of work, but it'll rub on the crankshaft, which is not a good thing. Um, so you'll need to order a pulley. Those range from anywhere to 8 to 20 bucks, depending on where you order them from. So I'll probably order a Honda one or go to the lawn parts, lawnmower parts store and uh, and uh, order a pulley that, that of that size, but the right crankshaft size. Well, anyways, I've already got the blade off, and I believe this is a 16 millimeter for this lawn boy. As you can see, I've I've resharpened this blade uh, quite a few times. And it's still fairly sharp. Oh yeah, when you're measuring this stuff, the best tape measure to have is one that's already got all the markings on it. I love these. Save the day. The quick measure. And I just changed the oil on this too. So it's got fresh fresh oil. We're not gonna bother disassembling the motor or anything. We're just going to take the gas out and that's it. I'm not gonna take any accessories off. This is still a good motor. I've actually done uh, pretty excessive oil changes. It's always had fresh gas. It's always been stored in the garage. Um, every time the filter gets slightly dirty, I replace it. In fact, uh, it's actually due for a replacement. I've replaced the spark plugs every year, or spark plug. It's always had a nice sharp blade, so it's it's had effortless uh, work. Um, so if anybody needs this and uh, wants it, you know, I'll sell it to you. It's still a good motor. But we got to figure out how good this one is before we just uh, go ahead and do that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to grab a little adapter and throw you up on this tripod. I'm going to go ahead and remove our uh, starter pull table. We're actually going to be getting rid of this. I'm not going to take it off until I get the motor on there. So. <clears throat> I'm going to want to undo this wire here. I think there's actually a connector for the green wire. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna I have these zip ties in here because I don't want these wires being all exposed. It's this tie wrap wasn't in all the way. This has been a good motor, but my thing is 
I need something with just a little bit more grunt because, uh, you know, I might be getting back into mowing yards and having something a little bit more robust. It's in my best interest. So this will make things easier. We can undo this character here. Some mowers, you don't even need to worry about that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, socket set. It's a little warm out today, but it's definitely cooler than uh, a couple days ago. A couple days ago, man, I had I had to take my car, to take my truck to work because it's kind of nice just driving with the windows down and not have any wind buffeting sounds. The newer cars seem to do that crap, but I don't really care for it too much. I still like my Mazda, but our Flex does the same thing, so there's no reason to hit the car. It could be a fortune. I don't know. I don't care. My other four doesn't do that. Anyways, our wires are disconnected. We're just gonna go ahead and put that screw back there. Now we're going to undo. Now we're going to undo this little guy here. In fact, I'm going to very delicately use my snips as a little thing in my bob here. Wish it wouldn't move. It moves so easy because I greased everything up. Okay. I've already got the bolt off for the blade. Um, let me see what size it was. I, I think it was a 16. Yep. So for the bolt, your blade bolt, you want to use a 16, 16 millimeter. And uh, if you don't have an impact or a blade uh, buster where you screw it onto the deck and it locks the blade in, you can just get a block of wood and wedge it in there so the blade can't turn all the way and you'll, you'll snap it free. And then when you go to put your, your bolt back on, use anti-seize. Use, um, use this anti-seize. It'll make it come off a lot easier next time. So now it's just a matter of flipping this on its side and uh, undoing the three bolts. Let's see, how much gas do we have in here? What have we got? Three and a quarter of a tank, almost full. Not too worried about it. Just flip her over. Alright, so it looks like a 15 millimeter, or 14, excuse me. I, I think these are kind of loose, really. I'll keep the top. Oh, you know you did. That is a huge spider. All right, she's all undone. And there's our Tecumseh. Hey, we didn't even leak any fluids. Isn't that awesome? Well, the good news is they were nice enough and. Made them just through holes. So I can actually just uh, run my bolts through them. And just uh, run the threads that way. So I'm going to flip it upside down. but I lied. You can do it later. Okay, well 
What's in? Um, what we're going to do now is test fit our blade and hopefully this is the right size. I already test fit it at the parking lot. That's a good size. Wow. Perfect. It's just like with the old motor. And we got a lighter blade so I think we're going to save some gas. So now what we're going to do I got some grass here in the way make sure this clears the deck See we're just, we're just hitting grass here Just hitting grass. So now let's see what size. This is, is it still a 16? Oh, it is. That shit on there real good. that on. Alright, well what we need to go is to AutoZone and grab some motor oil. Transferring my handle over because this one's kind of nice. Alright. We're just cycling oil. This burns pretty easy. Oh, that's lovely. I love it. All right, let's check oil now. It's a little low. Went down a little bit. We're gonna roll with that. Now you may be asking, Jimmy, you haven't hooked up this wire. Yeah, I know. That'll get hooked up at a later time. Right now, uh, we have our blade stop. So, I'm going to wash my hands off and then I'm going to, uh, we're gonna put some gas in it, fill it right to the rim, and then uh, start it up. Looks like she's got a pretty good, good sized tank on it. I wonder how big it is. It looks like it's a lot larger than the, the Cumsy one. If it takes the uh, rest of this can here, and that's it, it's a good sized tank. Almost all of it. It's 
quite a bit. Okay, I may not like this gas cap a whole lot. Just like the Honda one. Yeah, I want to run a zip tie on this. Make sure there's no uh, any special fancy blockages in the air filter. Hey, it's pink. Looks like a Briggs and Stratton filter. And the air cleaner housing's a little tweaked, but you know I was expecting shit like that for 110 dollars. All right, here she goes. Well, it has oil in the cylinders from when they ship these out, so I'm going to run for a little bit. I'll check the oil if it's, if it's high, I'll take a little bit out. Hopefully, it's not a bad engine. It's pretty quiet though. Smoke went away. I'm pretty sure they had oil in the cylinders. Now I gotta tinker with the idle. I like it. Alright, let's see how tough it is. I haven't cut this grass, so...
brake it and the blade brake even works. I'm going to mow a couple yards with this thing. This is nice. The only thing I don't like is I, I couldn't get a different blade. I had to get the mulching one so it's not quite picking everything up how I want it to. It's not really, it's kind of cutting it weird. I don't know, but that's the blade, not the motor. Unless it runs backwards somehow. Anyways, I'm happy with that. Alright, I just mowed this gentleman's yard side here. Hey, right there. Well, that back here did pretty good. Really good. <laughs> I can pretend. Actually, if I put it on that mode, it won't suck hot air from outside. But if I need fresh air, I put it on vent. Can't wait to get my AC fixed in the truck. At least I got the Mazda. <laughs>